believe this was Colette's destination. I want to see this. Inquisitor! I was going to send word. I found something. This inscription almost completely faded, but two stood. Felt 60 true before our triumph. A breath in the hunt, and let rest the lowlanders, worthy of the lady's care. The markings and surrounding artifacts date to Ameridan's time. The references and scripts suggest Avar. What's your theory? I need to complete a full survey and have Professor Kenrick evaluate the site himself. But this may be a tribute to Heron and Orina. Inquisitor Ameridan's companions. What makes you think the inscription refers to Heron and Dorina? It's only a theory, but the age of the markings and surrounding artifacts match the timeline we've established for Ameridan. I found glass fragments in the clay, several with slight veins of discoloration. Blue. Like Templar artifacts. Templars? The Templars were a new order in Ameridan's time. Given their small numbers then, few would be found outside the Chantry's reach. It's unusual to find one deep in uncharted territory, unless he traveled here for a purpose, as Heron would have. You don't think the inscription could refer to Emeridan himself? It's possible, but Emeridan would have been recognized as a leader, which the inscription might have noted out of respect. And a breath in the hunt? Why note that your hunt continues unless your remaining prey was someone important? What will you do with this information? Professor Kenrick will expect detailed notes on the location, stone and clay samples, and any trace artifacts I can find. If Ameridan's history is compiled, this could be worth an entire chapter. I might get credit on the inside cover. What happened here? An encounter with ancient Avar, and not a friendly one. Ameridan and his companions were outnumbered in an unfamiliar place. If Ameridan's not here, perhaps someone bought him the time needed to keep going? If this is the resting place of Heron and Durina, it only remains because the Avar took time to honor them. Respect for a worthy adversary? It wouldn't be out of place. What do you know about Heron? When the Templar Order was first formed, Sir Heron was among its members. He's arguably the most famous of the original Templars, though he was never one of their leaders. He's better known as one of Inquisitor Ameridan's confidants. They'd known each other since youth. So they were close? Friends? 
When Ameridan was made Inquisitor, Heron's position in his inner circle was assumed. A few ballads about them survive. The type with adventures and happy endings. <laughs> I don't know if they're true. They remind me of my brothers, though. What can you tell me about Orina? Orina was an alchemist in Orzammar. It's said she met Ameridan while dealing with a demon. But it's not known why Ameridan was there. Demons aren't common in the Deep Roads. But they were a problem for the Inquisition at the time. Arina knew she could help, so she joined Ameridan. If she left Ozamar, that would make her a surfacer. She turned her back on the stone, though it's said she had few regrets. Some claim she was actually from one of Ozamar's noble families, but who can say? She never used her last name on the surface, and once exiled, the family likely struck her name from personal documents. Professor Kenrick petitioned Orzammar's Shaperit to grant access to their records, but the request was turned down. Thank you, Colette. Inquisitor.